Hey, this is Jonathan, and this is a quick review of the BlackBerry Limited Edition Black and Gold Passport, done exclusively for BlackBerry OS. So I'm going to do this review just a little bit differently. I'm just going to focus on the device itself, and the reason I say that is because the few videos that are out there are all the same. person gets their box, they, they cut into the box, and they slip that top cover off, pull the black and gold out, and they're done. Uh, they don't really go into any other detail than that. Um, and how I'm going to do the review is I'm going to answer the questions that come up the most in the threads in several different forums, starting with the box itself. Is there anything special in it, unique, different? And to quickly answer that, no. There is nothing different in the box. Actually, it's extraordinarily ordinary. You have your booklet, USB cable, charger, earbuds, and whatever is in that box. I don't think I've ever opened that box, so I don't know what's in it. <laughs> so the box itself, there's nothing special or unique in it other than this Velextra premium flip case that is shipped with it. Which uh, brings me to the second question. Does the Velexa flip case suffer from the same thing the BlackBerry version of this suffers from, which is when the passport is put in place, this top flap doesn't close. I unfortunately don't have the BlackBerry version of this. So I'm going to just go by this and assume it's the same. So I'm just going to grab the, there she is. There's the black and gold. Um, so I'm going to try and center this as best I can and see what happens. Oh boy. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So there's your answer. It does, in fact, suffer from the same same thing the official one does, and this top flap does not close, which is a shame because it's it's a really nice case. Um, also, I don't think it's been mentioned before, but I know this always looks like it's black, but it's actually a green, a bluish green leather. That's a shame because it's a really nice case. Now moving on, next question is actually about the gold coloring itself and whether or not it's too pale. And in my opinion, I actually do believe it's a little pale. I really wish it was a couple couple shades darker and it would have really really made it pop. Not not that this doesn't already pop, but if it was a little darker would have made it really pop even more. Putting it next to a silver one. Still very distinct, but uh, you can see why a lot of people think it's a little too pale. Staying on the topic of color, another question that keeps coming up is about the frets and the frame itself and whether or not they feel different. And they don't. They really don't. If you have a passport, you know what this frame and the frets feel like, and the black and gold is no different. It feels exactly the same, acts exactly the same, reacts exactly the same way. Staying on the whole gold coloring thing. Next question that's asked is about this little guy here, the halo around the camera lens, and whether or not that is gold. I really wish it was, but it's not. It's silver. The BlackBerry logo itself is, in fact, gold. Little halo there is not. Uh, 
And the next question is about this guy here, the actual engraving. And how it feels. And it's actually raised. It's a raised engraving, which is very, very nice. You can actually feel every single one of these letters and numbers, which is really, really, really nice. Because let's be honest, this right here is a huge part of why we even why we even want to buy these for that. 50 worldwide is exceedingly special. I really like the feel of it. It's, it's a raised feel, which is nice because it's not going to wear or rub off. That's really nice. And the last question, last question about it is, does it have a special, a unique pin? And I know people ask that because of the Porsche versions of the Blackberries. They have special pins. And um, as far as this one goes, it does not. It does not have a special pin attached to it. Uh, very normal pin, like all the other passports, and I think even the classics, uh, I think they all start with uh, a 2B and then dot, dot, dot. This is the same. Would have been nice for it to have its own special unique pin, like the Porsche Blackberries, but it does not. Um, I love it. I love the black and gold passport. I've, I, I love it so much that uh, I've actually made it my primary device. It's fantastic. Love it. So, this is Jonathan, and this was a quick review of the BlackBerry Limited Edition black and gold passport. Done exclusively for BlackBerry OS. Thanks for watching.